How's it going? Just well, here with a video update here on the Simfu Motorsports channel. But I wanted to share something. So the car I'm about to sit in, I purchased from my father back in 2020, maybe 2021. It's been a few years, a couple of years, quite a, few, a bit of time, right? I drove the car for a week and then blew up the engine. I had never owned a turbocharged car of my own at that point. And when I got it, I put a blow off valve on it and um, was in the driveway rubbing it every chance I got before it warmed up. So, spun a bearing. You know how it goes, M54 like. But check it out. This car has been sitting since then. 2019, 2020, 2021. One of those years. I've lost track, right? And this is the state that the car is in right now. It's just sitting in my yard. Okay? Now, don't be fooled. This silver makes the car look like it's in great shape. Cosmetically, it's in decent shape for the age. It's a 2010 BMW 535M Sport. Um, when it's all said and done, it will be full bolt on. I have most everything already in there. I just have to put the front mounted intercooler on, which is a VRSF. But what I wanted to do was just show y'all what my experiences have been in the last couple of weeks. So I had two guys that I worked with work on the car. They initially took the old engine out and then they put the new engine in. Huge shout out to Jay for being so supportive. You know, one of the best friends a man can have. But um, after they put the engine in, ran into a few hiccups, I decided to contact Swap Depot and see if he would be interested in finishing the build for me. Um, things happened. I left that company and money ran dry. So I contacted Ali at Swap Depot. He was really understanding. And um, I had paid him for a bunch of work. So what he did was he made sure that the engine ran. He made sure that I didn't spend all of this money on this car for a bad engine. Because I, I purchased the engine used from a salvage yard in South Carolina. I made the drive up and picked up the engine and brought it back. Um, the engine apparently has less than 80,000 miles on it. Uh, if this car starts, you guys will see how many miles is on this chassis. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the dashboard for now. So I know this key just unlocked the car, so this key should work. I have like 10 keys for this car. I don't know my father's OCD when it comes to that stuff. But you know what? In the big scheme of things, I'm, I'm happy because it's worked out for me. But we're going to go ahead and stick the key in the ignition car recognizes that the key is there all right so we're just gonna put it in the accessory mode so you guys can see the mileage has 173,000 miles let's just say 174k right that 111 miles that's how many miles i put on the car before i blew the engine that's from the day i picked it up from my father i drove it to work a few days and then blew the engine Again, nobody's fault but my own, you know? So, all right, let's see if it starts. So we do have power, everything did come up. The multimedia system, which is gonna be coming out soon. I'm gonna go with one of those bigger X-Ron units or the bigger unit that uh, Vehicle Virus carries with Android on it. But, all right, let's see what happens. Foot on the brake. So I'm not gonna run it for so long. I did hook up the cooling system. I did. I brought a new reservoir. I, I did hook all of that stuff up. So there is cooling in the car. I bled the system. It's holding pressure. Everything is great. There are no leaks. Um, I still need to put the front mounted and the cooler in. There's a few other pipes that need to be installed, down pipes and all of that shit. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to finishing this car. I may do it all myself. Mechanically, I'm, I'm capable. 
the problem is, I was like today, I'm at home doing absolutely nothing because my head is killing me. You guys haven't seen much content from me because basically when I took on those other projects, uh, those contracting jobs, I said, you know what? YouTube can wait. And then I got to the point where I just didn't like making videos. I tried to make a video the other day about my uh, cycling. That's one of my new hobbies now. Uh, my new passion. I'm not even going to call it a hobby. I get up every day and ride. But um, I tried to do a bike check video. And usually I'm like a one take wonder. So I'm so out of practice. That 30 second video I was trying to make, I think it took me 20 times to get it right. And then I didn't even post it because I didn't want to go and edit it. I didn't want to do anything with it. But that's just the nature of things here. I just wanted to give y'all an update and let y'all know this winter is on. We got this 535 we're going to work on and get back on the road. And I'll try and document and video, and video that whole process, the learning process, me figuring out things. Then we have the interior and things on the Audi A4 Avant that we need to finish up. I need to get a new window, uh, window regulator for the driver's side and uh, clean up the interior because there's been some water incursion coming from the... Uh, the engine bay not I thought it was the heater core and I changed that out that took 20 minutes and thinking yeah that's it and then we had that hurricane last week and I realized that there was still tons of water in the car I actually went into the car and found mold on the back seats so I took my ozone machine and put it in there and left it in there for like two hours and when I came back the mold was no longer white so I still need to wipe that stuff out it's 2010 535 M Sport full bolt on my goal for this car when it's all said and done and I get the custom tune because I will be getting a custom tune for this car I want to go E85 flex fuel all of that and I want to get a tune from David Shoup uh, Vehicle Virus and uh, Ali over at Swap people speak highly and I've been around enough to interact with David at a bunch of events like um, Bimmer Invasion and um, just listening to him talk and with the passion, I got to get a cartoon by him. But I was going to do the 2016 535, which is also full bolt on flex, flex fuel, all of that. Right now, it's running MHD Stage 2 Plus um, E20 map. But then I can run the flex fuel if I need to. So there's that. But I'll have David tune this car and get this car up and running. Give the wife the F10, which means it'll still be in the stable until she's ready to buy something new and get rid of her Genesis. It's just too small for her. We thought we would save some money and get better gas mileage and all that. That twin turbo four cylinder. It's a nice car. She's just not happy. She went from G80s to G70 and the size difference just wasn't anything for her. And she takes my BMW every day. So that's her car for the most part. 75 miles every day round trip Monday through Friday. She's putting some miles on it. And I'm fine with it because the car is running like a champ. I love that car. So there's that. Then there's the E39 540i six-speed manual transmission V8. I love that car. I've been slowly but surely rebuilding that car. I put in an Alcantara headliner. I'm currently trying to acquire the uh, trim pieces. And um, there is a gremlin that is beating the shit out of me and has for the last year and a half. I've probably put 4,000 miles on that car in the two, three years that I've owned it. But um, the ABS sensors, they keep reading as being bad. I bought brand new ones from FCP Euro from reliable sources and they keep reading bad. The ABS module has been rebuilt by ABS masters and sent back to them to verify that that wasn't causing the problem. So what I do notice is if I disconnect that system, plug it back in, it runs great for a couple of days and then it just goes back. It, it, it gives me those readings again. So what I think I'm going to do is change the sensors one more time and hope for the best. If that doesn't work, I'm just going to give up on it until I can get somebody else to look at it. But that one needs some trim pieces on the interior, um, a new suspension all four corners the shocks are blown they're leaking in all four corners i'll probably upgrade the brakes i did put some uh what are they in parallels yeah i think they're in parallels or in pars i put some 
BMW more BMW wheels on them, but I have to get those bored out because the center bore isn't correct. The E39 is so difficult when it comes to the, the center bore, but right now I have spacers on it, so I'm able to run the wheels. But they're rubbing on the fender in the back, but I think that has a lot to do with the fact that the suspension is shot. Rides like a boat, but it has tons of power. I put a Dynan cold air intake. I have a Dynan axle back exhaust that I need to bolt onto it. Uh, when it's all said and done, I'll probably put some BC coilovers on it and then get that car either wrapped or painted. But I'm leaning toward paint because, again, that car is a keeper. That's me settling. Because owning a M5, I would take an F10 M5, a G90 M5, a E39 M5, shit, even an E34 M5. The M5 is my dream vehicle, right? It's at the top of the list for me. But the cost of ownership... Good God, I looked at the V10, I, I, I thought I was going to do it, and I was like, nope. And then I saw an M6 V10 for like $3,000. Somebody beat me to that. I would have bought that car, no matter what, I would have bought that car. For that money, $3,000 and M6, it would have been worth the investment and the time needed to get that up and running. But they're problematic. So with me not having an alternate source of income and living on a fixed income at this point, buying any more vehicles out of the question and buying any more vehicles or adding any vehicles or having any vehicles in the collection where the cost of ownership is any higher than my 535s i just couldn't do it like i would have to get rid of a, a vehicle or two in order to maintain an m5 so i'm giving up on that dream and i think i'm transitioning and this may be because i'm getting older i'm i'll be 49 in january but um i'm thinking about getting a a porsche cabriolet a sportster or something just something small that me and the wife can go out on and on a weekend trip and uh, have some fun drop the top and have some fun i've always wanted a convertible and i think i'm at that time and i've worked hard enough to where i i feel like i can justify it so one day one day one day but yeah thanks for listening to me ramble and uh i will be back shortly this week coming i will be putting the front mounted intercooler on the car and trying to finish all the plumbing and figuring out any and all the sensors that are not plugged in right now because the, the dashboard lights the fuck up i run i'm sure if i ran um my uh launch through it it would come out with all all types of error codes for failed modules or sensors or something that i haven't plugged in or just need to be replaced because of age but i'm happy engine with less than 80,000 miles on a chassis that has 174,000 miles and I'm at a point now where it would be maybe a couple more thousand dollars to get this car where I would be comfortable driving it every day and that's what it's going to be I want to be at 500 horsepower so we will get there by the end of 2025 this car will be on the road and pushing upwards of 500 horsepower when I'm done all right, guys, this is Schwell. Hope you're out there having fun, being safe, and also being responsible. And I'll hit you with the two fingers. Later. Here's a little bit of bonus footage of the 540. I need to get that bumper painted. I need to replace the rear bumper. I had an M5 rear bumper that I purchased with this M5 trunk deck, trunk lid, because the other one was, um, the paint had failed terribly up here. I still have it, but I took this one off an M5, and I had an M5 bumper, but I broke that while installing it, like, in the, a whole bunch of pieces, so do this one back on for now. So, and yeah, it is a manual. That's why I want it. This is me settling. I can't afford the M5, but the 540i with the 4.4 liter V8 gets the job done i think there are only a few things that i want to do to it to make it mine that is a wrap or a paint job um fix the abs system address this leather it's in decent condition but it, it, it's a little dry so i'm gonna fix that change out the head unit to an android head unit just to make it more fun to drive and you know more enjoyable bolt on that dining exhaust and this car will be my 90s era 
lawyer, doctor, dentist car. And I can drive this around and uh, have fun in it too. It is fun to drive. I gotta get an F10 shifter for it though. I put a, a cheap Amazon short shifter in it and it, it, it is shorter, it does look better, but boy oh boy is it choppy. So yeah, that's the little bonus footage and here she is. I love coming out the house and looking at this car, especially at sunset. Yep, she ain't perfect, but she's mine. I love that car too. All right, guys, later.